Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a menu for your Android application using Android Studio. Starting from a blank project, right click on the resources folder and create a new directory named menu. Right click on that directory and select menu resource file. Name the file main underscore menu. Once the file is opened, we are going to add two items one for the statistics and another for about. Each item will have an ID, a title, and an attribute named show as action. This is set to never. It will only be visible when you click on the overflow menu item. We need to create activities for our statistics and about menu options. Right click on the package name and select new activity. Each activity includes a Java and an XML file. Give them the appropriate names. Navigate to the main activity file and hit Ctrl and O outside of the onCreate method and select onCreate options menu. In this method, type menu inflator, inflator equal to get menu inflator. Go on a new line and type inflator.inflate r.menu.main underscore menu comma menu. Go on a new line and type return true. Now let's run the app and see if we can see these items. When we click on them, they will do nothing at this point. Under the On Create Options menu, let's override on Options item selected. We will need a switch statement to switch between the possible menu items. We are going to switch on item.getItemID. The first case is going to be r.id.stats. That refers to the first menu item. The second case is going to be r.id.about. That refers to the second menu item. We use intents to move from one activity to the next. This must return as true because the method must return a boolean value. Set the default case to return super.onOptionsItemSelected and pass in item. We need to add get support action bar dot set display home as up and abled and set it to true. We need to do this for the statistics and about activities. This creates a back arrow which will take you back to the parent activity. Set the parent activity of these two activities in the manifest. Also inside the manifest Add a label to these activities so that the names of these activities will be displayed in the action bar. Now let's run our app to see if it works. Hit like if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe to see more Android Studio tutorials and as always, thanks for watching.